when do you call a system an LXP? Because there, there, are, there are a lot of systems uh, in the market. The first thing is the UI UX. Uh, as I already mentioned, the learner becomes first compared to the administration and management, which will be in the background, but the learner is the uh, center of the design. And uh, we also consider mobile first approach. So any feature functionality we bring in, we always consider the mobile uh, usage because if you design only for desktop, you are leaving out a lot of learners uh, of today because mobile is becoming more and more predominant in terms of usage. And it should be fun to use because you can see a lot of gamifications and badges and, and a lot more fun. It's more like a Netflix of learning, uh, all the learning experience platforms. In terms of content delivery, it's uh, mostly uh, towards nudge and micro learning. It also supports any content type. It is not restricting you to have only SCOM or AACC. It helps, I mean, it lets you, lets you use videos and uh, uh, content from other platforms, MOOCs. So it gives you endless possibilities to put together a learning path. So the content can be uh, both internal and external. You don't have to depend on the content which is uploaded only to the learning management system. You, if you have another system which has content, you should be able to integrate with that. Uh, that is also a key feature of a learning experience platform. Then uh, the LXP accepts user-generated content. In terms of navigation, it always provides you logical learning paths. And these learning paths are curated. These learning paths are something that is dynamic, which changes according to the needs of the industry or any new products coming into the market that should be incorporated here. So it'll be very flexible and logical. It will have assessments at regular intervals so that you can validate yourself whether you're going in the right path. And uh, the important things are badges and gam uh, the gamification so that you always compare yourself with other learners. That is an integral part of learning experience platforms. It is also collaborative. So you will be able to connect with experts. You'll be able to connect with other learners. It'll have uh, blogs and um, the learner feedback is always taken and um, is considered. You'll be able to rate the learning materials or courses so that other learners will know which one is better. The environment is more democratic when it comes to a uh, learning experience platform vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, learning management system. Because in an LXP, uh, the learner is always first. So their rating is also uh, important. So their feedback is considered while we are uh, providing a particular course on top uh, so that everybody can go through that course instead of another course which has a lower rate. So this is a uh, kind of... Um, a checklist uh, while we consider a particular system as an LXP. If you go and see the systems, maybe some systems may be 80%, some systems may be 70%. A single system may not have all these features.